Welcome back everybody to this edition of County Line Outdoors. We're going to show you today how I rig my limb lines for monster catfish just like this. Don't wrap that line around you. Oh yes sir. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Wrestling a bull. Don't need a bigger boat. All right, that was a big catfish, wasn't it? So let's show you what you need to land monster catfish just like that off of limb lines. First, I got my trot line string. You're gonna need a swivel. You're gonna need some type of monster catfish hook. We like to use either the team catfish or the gamagatsu between a four alt and an eight alt, depending on the size bait that you're using. If you're using the cut of shad or uh, cut brim, any type of fin fish, you're going to want to go with the liller size in between a 4 and a 5 alt. When you step it up to the large live hole brim, like we call those catfish on, you want to go up to the, about this, about the 8, 8 alt size. So first what I do is I cut a section of trot line string at about 2 foot. And I take my hook. And I like to use a figure eight knot. I'm not gonna go into how to tie the figure eight knot. There's plenty of other uh, places on the internet that will show you how to do that. But once you go to cinch it up, I don't know if you can see that or not. Once you go to cinch it up, it looks like an eight. Cinch that down and I promise you that will not come undone. So on the other end of my leader, I take my swivel and this trout line string is about a 150 pound test. That'll hold just about everything in my waters. And on that side, I will take and I'll use another figure eight knot. And on these, you want to oh, make sure that you're You want to make sure that your knot is completely cinched. You don't want to lose a big catfish because of your knot. So now we have our leader completely intact. Now you can put these either on a piece of styrofoam, put the hook in there and wrap it up, which I like to prefer to do. And you can put multiple on here and it does not get tangled up. If you lay them in the side of your bucket, Normally the lines all get tangled up. You don't want all that. So, now, when you get over there, the reason I make these leaders the way I do is because you never know where the limb is going to be, how high up off the water it is, what the water depth is. Sometimes we go in 30 foot of water. Sometimes we're up on near a sandbar or something like that, and it's kind of shallow. So once I determine my spot on the river, I'll come back and I'll cut whatever length of line that it's going to be. Most of the time it's several feet long. And then you'll take that and you'll attach it to 
the other side of your swivel. And I like to use a figure eight knot on every single knot that I tie on this. Now, once I got that cinch down, you can take your weight, depending on the current. We've had to use all the way up to eight. Eight ounce weight. You will pop that down. And get a good glue there. Do it like that. And then this end will be attached to the limb. Now on the next episode that's coming up next, over the weekend, we are going to show you how to attach this to the limb, what limb to properly look for, and what spots to properly look for. So look forward to that video coming up soon. So guys, that's basically how we tie our uh, limb line rigs, pre-made, ready to go. If you like the video, make sure you hit that uh, thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe. We got plenty of videos coming up, and hopefully this weekend we'll catch a monster. All right, guys, tight lines, and we'll catch you next time.